Chinese scientists said they have made significant progress in brain-computer interface research after a successful experiment on an epilepsy patient. First, an electrode connected to a robotic hand was implanted into the brain of a 28-year-old woman. The woman was then able to manipulate the hand, forming it into the familiar rock-paper-scissors hand signs using only signals from her brain. This brings new hope to patients who suffer from limb motor dysfunction, according to Zhang Jianmin, head of the neurology department at the second hospital affiliated with Zhejiang University. The robotic hand can be shaped into the rock paper scissors hand signs found in the game of the same name. This is a very important clinical experiment in terms of a future application to treat disabled patients. The robotic arm does not just follow the signals, but is able to make predictions and judgments in order to win the game. The female patient volunteered to join in the experiment. Her brain waves were transmitted to a brain-computer signal processor for analysis, allowing the hand's movement to match the signals. They implanted electrodes in the patient's head in order to send its signals to a processor and then to control the movement of the robotic arm. It was shown that its accuracy reached nearly 80 percent. At the start of the experiment, the volunteer repeated the hand signs in order to allow her brain signals to be recorded. Researchers then input decoded brainwave data to guide the robotic arm to move. Zhang said the success of the experiment means that other basic movements can be replicated as well. This is a good news for disabled patients. Basic motor skills such as brushing one's teeth face washing, walking, eating, and grasping objects can be realized. A team of experts from the university began their research in 2006, making gradual progress during experiments on mice and monkeys. In 2012, they reached a milestone in an experiment on a monkey that saw a robotic limb grasping and pinching objects. The latest experiment is the first to be conducted on a human subject. People who suffer from motor dysfunctions such as limb paralysis and traumatic amputations may be able to rebuild their motor function using this technology. We still need to make sure the brain signals can be accurately transmitted to robotic limbs and realize total movement control. This will lead to our final goal of motor function reconstruction.